Let's get ready to rumble! Round one. Fight. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to be going over which sport has the best drip. Because if you think about it, we're pretty much asking what's the best sport, you know? Because we all know the drip is what really matters. That is right, today we're gonna be discussing, analyzing, ranking all of the sports based on style to figure out which sport truly has the best drip. Will it be the six foot plus demons? Will it be the worldwide blokes? Or will it be the old money aesthetic? Stay tuned to find out. Also, while you're at it, like and subscribe for Double XP Drip. All right, before we get into it, I just want to preface this by saying the only the relevant sports are going to be on this list. Would you rather have one WNBA ticket or one dollar? Um, the uh, dollar. You'd rather have the dollar? Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Also, every person in each sport dresses different. So I'm going to be ranking it on the overall aesthetic, the overall vibe of it. Because for sports like soccer, you got like jerseys, right? But no soccer player actually wears them when they're not playing. <laughs> Starting up, we got basketball. Real talk, you can tell when someone plays basketball. They're usually always wearing just something simple, just whatever is trendy at the moment. Always casually out with some slides, some Crocs, some Burt. All right, LaMelo is different. Who told bro this fit was okay? Happy Sunday. God bless you. Stay prayed up. Yeah, I don't run. Huh? I don't run. They always got some goofy ass walk too. Bro, though, why are they always walking like they're lagging IRL? And they're always walking in packs. Why are they always traveling in herds? But basketball drip is pretty simple for the most part. Every once in a while, you do have some steppas. Overall, though, I'd say it's like a little above average to pretty mid. I can't really say that I've seen a lot of hoopers with some crazy fits. Because let me tell you, these guys think that their height carries their fit. Bro, I swear, they base their whole personality on the fact that they're 6'1", 6'2". I'd say C tier. Yeah, I don't run. Huh? I don't run. All right, next up, we got golf. Golf drip, golf aesthetic is either old money or this. But I will say with this one, I have some personal first-hand experience, all right? I used to work at a golf course, so I would see this drip on the daily. And I can say that this drip is pretty simple. There's, there's actually no way that you can fail to achieve this drip. But in terms of rankings, it's good. I'm not gonna lie, it is very solid. It achieves that old money vibe. You're out, you're out in the sun, you're having a good time. You can't really go wrong with it. But in terms of scaling, you can't go too far here. The skill peak isn't as high as some other sports. And that's why for that reason, and for that reason, I'm out. I'm gonna have to give it a B tier. All right, now we got football. Football or American football for you non USAers. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this one real simple. Football players are not known for their drip at all because American football drip is non-existent. Think about it, you got standouts in every other category, but name one standout in football. Go ahead, try. Exactly. Every time you try to forget who I am, I'll be right there to remind you again. You know me, you know American football has zero drip. Also, dare I say that 70% maybe pushing 80% of football players are NPCs. Oh shit, oh shit. Football goes in the F tier, NPC tier. Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos country, let's ride. All right, next up we got the old money aesthetic, but it's just more European. That's right, tennis. Tennis strip isn't really mainstream. I will say like, I don't really pay attention to tennis that much, so I wouldn't know. But when I think of tennis strip, I think of classy all white fit, maybe like a dry fit polo, just the classy like, like golf, but leveled up. Just a typical country club type of fit. This one is actually crazy. Maybe even revolutionary. This is really the Omnicron variant. They did not want me to pull this one up. Hear me out though, hear me out, hear me out. Let me cook. Just the fact that these skirts, dress type of outfits exist makes the old money aesthetic, but just more European, huh? A tier. Fuck your main page, what's your finster? I wanna know the real you. You started dancing to pay your tuition, girl. I wanna know what you been through. 
ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at a toughie. Soccer is kind of a confusing one, you know? I'll tell you that much because actual soccer players aren't that drippy. Alright, the average soccer player is less drippy than the average basketball player. But I have to take into account the jerseys, the sambas, the gazelles, all the other influential products, items, relics of, of the era right now. The average soccer jersey cooks the average basketball jersey low dip because taking into account the entire swag of the overall aesthetic, I gotta give this bottom of the A tier. The shoes, the sambas, the gazelles, the three stripes, the jerseys, A tier. I got feelings for you. Hope you ain't loving the crew. How many bodies you got? Pray it ain't more than a few. All right, next up, we got hockey. Hockey only exists in Canada, D tier. All right, now we got skateboarding. I think you guys already know where this one's going. S tier, GG. To be honest, I don't know if it really counts as a sport. It's kind of more of a hobby. You can even go as far as to say it's an art, but skateboarding drip clears every other sport. Skateboarding birthed so many iconic things in fashion, from brands to styles to so much more. Let me tell you, nothing even comes close. All right, now bonus round hiking now this is last because it doesn't really count as a sport it's more of like a activity i guess but the hiking swag is immaculate just hiking in general is immaculate the vibes the fits the waterfall at the end the view at the end Woo! i didn't realize you were chill like that all right you're good i had to put this one here because they got some drip the nice people that you smile and nod to when you cross by them. The hellos every so often. The, the classic breathing heavy when you walk past them. Now look how happy bro is. Bro is cheesing. He's geeking. I'm telling you right now, alright? You ain't getting this happy hooping. You're not smiling when you're getting posted up. Bro is smiling because he found the spot. Now let me tell you, the only spot you're finding when you're playing basketball is the bench, alright? Because you know damn well your ass is trash. So go find some sick spots with your friend before you guys all grow old and only see each other twice a year. Do with that information what you will. Just, just such a wholesome community. The Gorp Core, the Gore-Tex, the Ars Herix beanie, the Solomons, the hiking boots. I can only imagine the infinite wisdom that these guys have. If you see someone walk past you looking like this, just know they've seen some things, bro. They've they've got some stories to tell. This guy's the wandering traveler, bro. Look at him. Look at him. Hiking, A tier, right above soccer. If you guys agree or disagree, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Have a good day. Bye. Fall so hard, motherfuckers wanna find me. But first niggas gotta find me. What's 50 grand to a motherfucker like me? Can you please remind me?